Hello and welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. Now, if you saw last week, I did a collaboration with Josh from Orgomics and we each designed planes using the water bomb base. And I designed the Stinger and he designed Stingray. And no, we didn't collaborate on the names. Kind of just an unfortunate coincidence that we named them so closely. But last week I taught you how to fold Stinger, and this week I'm going to be teaching you Stingray. And really quick, I just want to praise Josh and his channel. You should really head over to Orgomics and check it out by clicking on that card in the top right corner because he makes a lot of good content for paper airplanes and for origami as well. Now, with that out of the way, let's see how Stingray flies. All you're going to need in order to fold Stingray is an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. And I like Astrobrite's paper, this is Venus Violet, just because it's a little bit thicker and adds a little bit of mass to your plane. And also the colors are beautiful. So if you're interested in purchasing some Astrobrites, you can click the description below. I'll leave a link there. And that's an affiliate link, so it's a great way to support the channel if you're thinking about buying this paper anyways. We are going to begin with the water bomb base as we kind of discussed earlier. But first, we want to get an easy fold out of the way, just folding it in half from right to left. This step isn't actually part of the water bomb base, but often is folded right before you start the water bomb base, just because most planes use a center crease anyways. And once we've done that, we'll just open it back up. The next step is to take this top edge and fold it to our left edge here. And we want to fold right through this top left corner so that our crease goes diagonally downward at a 45 degree angle. And try really hard to get this as accurate as you possibly can because the more accurate you fold this, the better your plane will be. Any folds that reference this crease will uh, be inaccurate if this crease is inaccurate. I know it's a bit hard, but as always, try to be as accurate as possible. And once we've done that, we can do the other side as well, taking this top edge, folding to our right edge here. And this should also go through the top corner. And we'll open that up. And next we want to flip the paper over. I now want to make a horizontal crease that goes through this intersection of the diagonal creases. And to do that, I'm going to pull this top edge down and pull it all the way until I'm seeing these diagonal creases here. I want them to form a triangle. And right when that point is revealed, then I can tack it at that point. And I want to swing this portion now to make sure that this crease lines up with my center crease below it. And once I've achieved that, I can sweep across this top edge. And I can open that up, and now I'll flip the paper back over. Upon doing that, I'll show you it should lay something like that, and you can just poke that center point, and its edges will pop in slightly, and now you can just pull them in right on those existing creases and flatten it like so. Okay, our next step is to move this right flap to the left, and I want to fold this edge here to our center crease here. After doing that, I can open this pocket up, and I want to reverse this section of the crease right here that's on this top layer. Just by sliding my thumb in there and swinging in on this hinge of this crease here, I will flatten it like so, 
so that this edge here lands right on our center crease. And after doing that, I will actually begin to open this pocket up. And now I want to flatten this whole layer so that this crease here lands on this edge here. So you can see that crease was this edge here. As we open it up like so, we can squash fold it right there on that edge. And once we've done that, we're going to now pull this open and we want to reverse this crease here, which is currently a valley fold, and this crease here, which is currently a mountain fold, and we want both of those to be the opposite. So this would push in to become a valley fold, and naturally the other one will want to reverse itself once we've done that. And so now those layers are underneath this layer here. And now having done that, we can flip this flat back to the right and do the left side. So once again, we're going to take this edge here, fold it to center. Open that up, and now we want to reverse this crease here, sticking our thumb in, swinging on the hinge of this other crease into center. So your plane should look like this. And next we will begin to open this pocket and this edge here will become the crease that we want to flatten to land on this edge here. And next we want to reverse those two creases so we'll swing it open, force this one, this front one, inside and then flatten the whole thing like so. Okay, so now we are getting very close. The next step is to fold this edge here into this center line. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And next, we want to flip this bottom portion of our right flap upward with, let me show you where our references are. So you can see where this layer here intersects this layer here. So that point right there is going to be one reference. And then where this edge here intersects this layer here will be our other reference. And we want to crease from one point to the other. And I'll show you what that looks like. It'll look just like this, and you can see this edge meets right where it lands on that point. This edge goes straight to that point. And the idea is now we can flip this in the opposite direction, and we can tuck this whole thing in behind all the other layers, just like that. So I'll show you that on the other side as well if you weren't clear on exactly what happened. Just watch ahead and, and we'll do it on the other side. So. I'm going to fold it like so. And once again, my reference is where this edge here met that edge there, and where this goes straight to where it intersects that edge there. And now we can just open this up, reverse that crease. So it now looks like this. And now we just tuck this flap in under all the other layers. Just like that. And once we've done that, we can drop it like so. Okay, and now the next step is to make a fold starting from the point of the plane 
that goes all the way down to this corner back here. And we're going to do that just by grabbing this ledge here, this edge, and folding in. I'm going to start at the top and kind of just guide it right down to that corner in the back. So you can see where I've folded. And this is just to give the plane a stronger leading edge and move the weight, the center of gravity forward on the plane. And once we've done that, your plane should look like this, we can tuck this layer in under this pocket here. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, once I've done that, I will tuck this side in as well. And all that's left to do is fold the wings. So now I will take my plane, mount and fold it in half like so, and lay it on its side. And I want to fold this edge here to this edge here. Now, you can use this bottom edge as a reference because there's a slight stair step here, I just use the back edge. That way I can make it exactly the same on both sides. So I'm referencing this here and I'm taking this edge to that edge. And I'll flip it over and do the same thing on this side. And there you go. You have a finished Stingray. Now, I recommend that you watch my video on how to properly throw and adjust your planes. Stingray seems to fly pretty well without too much adjustment, but if you're having trouble flying it, it always helps to have a little bit of knowledge on how to correct for errors in flight. So be sure to check that out as well. And if you are interested in subscribing, click that channel icon in the top right corner and check out some more of my videos here. And if you really like what I do, head over to foldableflight.com or patreon.com slash foldableflight. As always, guys, thank you for watching.